All right, moment of truth. 20 month old eggs. Hi everyone, welcome back to Modern Homesteading with Tessa. I'm Tessa and this is the channel where I show you how to feed yourself. Today we are talking water glassed eggs. So if you're not familiar with water glassing eggs, this is a method of preserving fresh raw eggs for up to two years. And stick around to the end because I'm going to be taste testing eggs that I water glassed in June of 20. 21. It is now February 2023, so these eggs are almost two years old. Like, I don't think I even have some of the chickens that laid these eggs anymore. That's how long ago these eggs were laid. I'm also going to share some tips and tricks so that you can avoid some of the common mistakes that people often make when they're water glassing eggs. This method has been around since the early 1800s, and this is how people preserved eggs before electricity and refrigeration were a thing. This method allowed them to preserve eggs for up to two years without refrigeration. Now, I don't personally really need them to last that long. I really only need them to last me through the winter, but I purposely kept these eggs as an experiment to see just how long they would stay good. So if you've had chickens, you know that there's a natural rhythm and a natural annual cycle. They lay a lot more eggs in the spring and summer. Then they kind of cut back during the winter months when it's cold and there's not so much food around. You could put a light in your chicken coop to kind of trick their bodies into thinking that it's spring and summer. And that light would just extend the length of day but I like to follow the natural rhythms of the seasons and I feel like it's only fair to let my hens do the same thing. And I feel that their bodies need a break in the winter as well. So I don't add a light. So how do you water glass eggs? So basically the eggs are just submerged in a hydrated lime and water mixture. So. You can get hydrated lime from a number of sources, but I think the easiest to obtain is just regular pickling lime. You can get this in um, a lot of grocery stores or in the canning section of your hardware store. Um, it's also less expensive if you buy it in bulk from Azure Standard. That's the first ingredient you're going to need is hydrated lime. Then you're gonna need some kind of container. So a lot of people will use um, five gallon buckets. So like food grade five gallon buckets and that's fine. I just personally find that when I use a big five gallon bucket that I get a lot more eggs that get micro cracks or full cracks from the weight of the eggs on top of them crushing the bottom eggs. And so I get a lot more spoilage that way and I don't like that. Um, it's also very heavy and hard to move around. So I personally prefer to do it in a smaller container because I was running into those problems. So I like to use a half gallon mason jar. And I really like that I can see through it and I can see the eggs inside. And it's a nice size. A half gallon jar holds 15 or 16 good size eggs and that's plenty for me so I like to use a half gallon jar but any glass container or um, food safe plastic container will work for this the next thing that we need are fresh farm fresh eggs this is very important so we need eggs that are very recently laid I like to do them within one to three days of the egg being laid. And they have to be unwashed eggs. That's very, very important because we want to keep the bloom intact and we don't want to wash that bloom off. If you were to wash this bloom off before water glassing, then some of that lime could actually enter in through the pores of the egg and make your egg taste yucky. So they need to be clean, fresh, 
unwashed eggs. And clean, we don't wanna use any eggs that have any, even a little speck of manure or dirt or anything on them. They need to be really, really clean so we're not introducing any bacteria. So during the time of year that I am wanting to water glass eggs, I'm really diligent about keeping my nest boxes clean and trying to keep the whole coop clean so that chickens are you know, not tracking mud in and getting mud and manure on the eggs. They also need to be unrefrigerated. So when you place an egg into the refrigerator and then it cools, you will get some condensation on the egg and that in and of itself will actually wash the bloom off. So they cannot be refrigerated. So if you live in the US, this is not something that you can do with store-bought eggs because all eggs in the US are washed and then refrigerated. If you live somewhere else, like say in the UK, where they're actually not allowed to wash eggs and eggs need to be sold unwashed, then that is an option for you to water glass store-bought eggs in that case. But the egg does need to have the bloom on it. All right, so what I like to do is place my eggs in my jar before I add any liquid. You can also use tongs for this job. Be very, very gentle with your eggs so you don't get any little micro cracks in there because that will cause them to spoil over the long term. And the reason that I am putting them into my container before adding the lime is because I want to minimize my skin contact with the lime as much as possible. It's a very, very alkaline substance and if it touches your skin too much, it'll really, really dry your skin out. All right, so there's our jar all packed. So now we are going to mix together our lime mixture. So I'm gonna take a quart jar and the measurement is one ounce of lime by weight to one quart of water. So I'm actually gonna tear my scale with my quart jar on there and then add my lime. Once that is measured out, I'm going to add about half of the water and then shake it up to dissolve it. Be careful not to breathe this stuff. It's not very good for you to breathe it. Get the lid on there. And if you only had a few eggs, you know, that day to water glass, you could fill your container, you know, a third or half the way full, and then just pour your lime mixture in to cover them and keep the remainder of the lime mixture in this jar. And then the next day, add more eggs and add more lime mixture. And the temperature of the water doesn't really matter. So there is our lime mixture that we will pour over our eggs. Then we're just going to pour them on until the eggs are submerged. Alright, so there you go. Then we're just going to throw the lid on there and then we will label that and put it in a cool dry place uh, until we need them. As you can see, the lime settles very quickly, and that's totally normal. It's completely normal for the lime to settle like that. So don't be alarmed. A lot of people get worried about that, about the lime settling. That's totally normal. Okay, so now that we've preserved them, now let's cook some up and see what they actually taste like. And we will be comparing these with eggs that were just laid today. All right, so let's go for June first. June. June 26, 2021. Not sealed, but it's not supposed to be. It doesn't have, it kind of smells just like the lime. It doesn't have an off egg odor at all. So that's good. Now, when you take your eggs out of your lime mixture, don't use your hands. Use gloves, use tongs, use something. If you're doing this a lot, it will seriously dry your hands out to the point where they're like cracking and hurting. And that happened when I was 
getting into water glass eggs every day for weeks before it started to do that. But now I never dunk my hand in there. I always use tongs um, or a glove or something to get them out. So, here we go. And then likewise, we want to rinse this off really well before we eat it because we don't want any of that lime to drip into our food. So we're gonna go give this a quick rinse. And it doesn't smell bad at all. You know when you have an egg that you know is bad, it smells like a rotten egg? This does not smell like that at all. Let's crack it open. So the yolk is broken. It doesn't smell bad. I just wonder why the yolk so I think what happened is the yolk was attached to the shell on the inside. And so when I cracked it and poured it out, it, it broke the yolk, but that's not a big deal. Everything smells really good. So I wanna try another one and see if I can't get one to um, not be broken, because I really would like to try frying one this whole time. Yeah, the yolks are stuck to the shell. But that's okay. All right, so this is three of the June eggs and all of the yolks were um, sort of stuck to the shell and so they broke as I opened them. This is one of the July eggs and the yolk sort of broke but it stayed intact. But I don't know if I'm gonna get it to stay together for a fried egg. But these would work great for like breading chicken or fish or something before cooking it, adding to any baked dish or for scrambling. All right, so now let's cook some up and see what they actually taste like. Oh, good. All right, moment of truth. The only thing I put on these was salt. Yeah, that just tastes like eggs. Very good. I bet if you served that, no one would even know that they were water glassed. Let's try the, this is the laid today egg. They taste the same. Yeah. And I've had these out a year old before. And they, I couldn't even tell the difference between the two. So, 20 month old eggs, scrambled, very good. You really couldn't do a fried egg with them. But for scrambled eggs, for breading fish or chicken or something to fry it, like you do your egg dredge, um, for baking with, all oh, would be totally fine. Mmm, that was good. All right, so let's see about hard boiling them because I'm curious to see what happens with those yolks being stuck to the edge. What's gonna happen there? So this one egg is cracked. Oh, they're both cracked now. And so everything's just running out everywhere. So we'll see. It is not peeling that well. No, that would, I would say that is a fail. I don't really want to eat it either. 
and it's like mushy. It's probably still edible, it's just not very appetizing. Maybe this one fared better. Yeah, the yolk is like stuck to the shell. Oh, that's a little better. That one is a little better. All right, here's our boiled egg. They did not hold up to boiling. The shells cracked and and so then a lot of the egg was like leaking out all over the place. And then just texture wise, they're not appealing boiled at all, they're soft. So I would say they're fantastic uh, scrambled and fried, which is what I've done largely with water glassed eggs in the past. This is the first time I've ever tried to hard boil eggs. So this is what happens when you hard boil a water glassed egg. They don't really stay together and they're kind of mushy, I guess is the best word. But it doesn't smell bad. I'll say that, it does not smell bad. Like if you were in an emergency situation and you needed protein, I would eat it. I would, absolutely. So I would say for the purpose of preservation, it did work. It's just not a super appetizing preparation of a water glassed egg. The scrambled eggs, though, were fantastic. They're almost indecipherable from a fresh egg. So yeah, there you have it. Water glassing eggs, it's a method of preserving eggs that has been around for a long, long time. Can totally be utilized today to preserve your bounty of eggs. When eggs are in abundance, you can preserve that for use over winter. And I will say eggs that were preserved only you know five or six or seven months prior are in a lot better condition than eggs that are at 20 months old i just wanted to see how long this would actually work so if you're using this just to get you through the winter on eggs this is absolutely perfect and like i said if they're not 20 months old they're in a lot better condition so we don't need these eggs to last for years. We really only need them to last through the winter when the girls are taking a break. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Like this video if you like this video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.